1950 the Washington Quarter in Mint State 67. The key element here is the Mint Mark. That is a D mark which stands for Denver Branch of US Mint. It's punched over weak S which stands for San Francisco Mint. According to David Hall, the story is that in the 1950s, the Philadelphia Mint received an order for dice from one of the branch mints, and being one die short of filling the order, a mint employee overpunched the mint mark in an already existing die to create the die to fill the order. Then sometime later, the exact opposite occurred, creating the other variety. These, D over S representative, ended up selling for $21,937.50 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. Here is 1976S Eisenhower dollar clad, type 1, exquisite proof coin in PR70 deep cameo condition, with the best grade available for proof coins. This bicentennial Ike dollar is pristine and spotless on both sides, displaying mirror-like fields and incredibly frosty relief details. It was sold for $9,625 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. Moving on to this 1943D Jefferson Nickel in Mid State 68 with full steps, tied for numerically finest graded according to PCGS census. Exquisite, brilliant luster accents a seductive blend of rainbow iridescent toning that delightfully caresses the surfaces of this radiant beauty. Crisp and sharply struck throughout, this amazing coin shows rich bands of color at a worst periphery before fading into an iridescent dusting of blue and gold. The reverse is more iridescent in tone. The bold luster brings all the subtle colors and shades to vivacity not usually seen on this denomination. It was sold for $5,287.50 at Legend Rare Coin Auction. Here is a Tractor Litton 1953S Roosevelt Dime in Mint State 68 with full torch. Top grade condition rarity. The centers are pearl white while the dubs of amber toning appears in the margins. Around the borders, minor dye erosion can be seen, but the central strike sharpness is excellent. It was sold for $2100 at Heritage Auctions. An Oro Nickel, 1944P Jefferson Nickel struck on a scent blanchet. Graded as MS61 Red and Brown by PCGS. Wrong planchet errors are scars for the short-lived war nickel type. Noted for its huge mint mark above the dome of Monticello, except for the states off. This example shows most of the design, though the peripheral legends appear stretched and the tops of some letters are off the flam. Struck flush with a color dye at 6 o'clock. Sold on November 21, 2022 for $2,640 at heritage auctions. Here is 2000p Sacagawea dollar struck on a quarter planchet, graded in mean state 67 by NGC. Radiant, brilliant luster illuminates unabraded surfaces on this piece with sharp central devices and strong cartwheel bands on each side. The rims are not fully defined as is byproduct of the smaller quarter planchet. The strike is well centered. Sold for $7,800 at Heritage Auctions. Thanks for watching, guys. Your likes and subscriptions are highly appreciated.